Hey guys, it's Ross Gordon and Space Coach. Today we're going to have a look at this. The Country Life Book of Antique Maps. I love maps. I was always looking at maps, drawing maps as a kid, all that sort of stuff. Because obviously I always loved travel and all that sort of thing. Looking at the planes flying overhead when I was a kid. So I'll just stick it out of its dust jacket. This is another one that doesn't have anything on there, although it does have on the spine. Very nice. So let's just see what we have. Fell out there. I think that might have just been the receipt. Oh, <laughs> there. A little erratum. What does it say? The map on page 56, the planisphere, planisphere terrestre is inverted. Page 56, I have to try and remember that. It's... Uh, England and Wales. So here, the world. Not sure what that is. Um, a fantastic map of Iceland from Oralins Theatrum. I had loads of the, I don't know if it's Reader's Digest or not, Books of the Explorers and all that stuff. And there was loads of maps like this in there. Oh, that's like one of the ones that you would cut out. And um, because of the shape, you'd be able to wrap it around the little globe. And there is the British Isles. Carolina, it's like South Carolina. That might be the northeastern US. That looks like um, Cape Cod there. Yes, it is. The county of Middlesex no longer exists, of course. There is the northeast US again. When is that from? Novi Belgi. Didn't know the Belgians were there. 1660. Then you see the Iberian Peninsula and Europe. Maps and map makers. This looks like the Georgian period. world another one of the world from above i guess typus universalis Various countries, I suppose, and territories and colonies. Similar there. The Americas, there is the world again. World maps. How the depiction of that has changed over the centuries. I guess another beautiful one there. I want to know what these are. <laughs> See the one from above that shows all of the continents. Well, I mean, all the ones that they knew about. But not a very common view. You usually see it um, flat. Charts. A town plan. I'm not sure which town that is of. Look at the canals. It might be Amsterdam. Look at all the ships. 
It is, it's Amsterdam. I assume that's London. Yeah, Londra, it says. <laughs> Mapping the world since the country. So, a very old map of the British Isles there, I believe. Some of the British Isles. Mostly England and Wales is the island on that one over here. That looks like Cornwall. Not sure what this is. Interesting. That's uh, Central America, uh, Panama. Although it was part of Colombia, Grand Colombia as it was back then. This is a Berkshire. British town plans. Again, that will be London, I expect. Yep. Londinium Verasus. Scotland and Ireland. Europe. Germany, all the tiny little German states that there were. There's Europe again. The Netherlands. Spain and Portugal. Where is this? Candia? I don't know what that is. Africa. Africa's always either undersized versus Greenland um, or it's not in proportion to the rest of the world. It's a huge continent and it doesn't look enormous on a world globe compared to some of the others. Asia. The Ottoman Empire. It's various territories. You see the Arabian Peninsula there. Holy Land, I'll turn it that way, and see that's Israel and Palestine. China, I think it's meant to be that way. India, I think. Uh, what's this? That'll be Japan. Looks like it's mostly, uh, that'll be Hokkaido, Honshu, and then Kyushu and Shikoku at the bottom. Australia and the Pacific, so there you see the Americas there. South Pole. The New World. There is the New World. Now, oh, what do we see on there? The different colonies, I assume. Mexico. Uh, Florida, Central America, I'm not sure what the other parts are. Again, North America. Uh, 
the North Pole, I think, because it's Scandinavia, British Isles. Newfoundland, there's North America, this would be Spanish Empire, I guess. Parts of it anyway, what's this? Yeah. Northeastern US again, there's Cape Cod, there's Long Island. I assume it's Delaware or New Jersey. Yeah, Delaware, I think very uh, inaccurate. This is the southeastern US, Florida. Uh, the 13 colonies. That was Spanish Florida, I believe. But Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. It would be like New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New England. Texas. South America, Globes, Curiosities and Miniatures, Celestial Maps, Thematic Maps, Two different views of the world there. Marks as objects. There's the Americas. There's the moon. And that's one where it's been cut out and put on a globe. You can make out the different times there. And I think that's in Americas. Yes, it is. And then... There's a plate with the world on it. What is that in aid of? Queen Victoria, uh, Victoria, Queen and Empress, Jubilee year 1897. I have a mug from her Jubilee year 1897. I'll have to show you at some point. So yeah, it's Victoria and Edward on the other side. There's curiosities. It's like a griffin or something. It's like a lion. Scotland has a, whatever this is meant to be, a joker of some kind. And that is it. So yes, antique maps, absolutely love that. I hope you guys enjoyed this journey through how the world has been depicted over the centuries as much as I did. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion for what topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.